Justin Ladd with Juneau County Land and Water here with Brian Doggs of the producers of Lake Redstone Watershed and we're going to talk about his cover crop application using his fertilizer spreader here. The GPS controls you have on this machine? Well, I, uh, I put a, a John Deere control box on here that controls the, the speed of the conveyor and, um, and it talks to the tractor and the GPS and you can um, put basically any seed you want in the box and you just need to know the density of the seed. and how far it'll spread it and once you have that information you can plug it into the computer and tell it how far it's spreading and what the density is and it'll automatically control how much comes out and and spread it and um, it works pretty good uh, it's just a lot of messing around trying to get everything calibrated right and once you can do that it works pretty good and, and you can spread about almost any seed I spread the ryegrass seed with it, about 25 feet, but then you can spread clover seed, 50 feet. Um, so you can just tell it what it's, what you want it to do, and it basically will do it. And you can record it all on a GPS on a tractor, and you can have a file of it uh, for a later date on what you did and what you put on and what rate you put on, and it will keep track of all of that. And, uh, this is the first year I've done it. It seems to work pretty good. We'll see how everything grows and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> so the seed drops out onto this, uh, into the, onto the spinners and spins out. And I'm able to uh, control the speed of this apron from the tractor and reduce how much, how many pounds I put on per acre. I can actually get down to five pounds per acre. Um, of like clover seed and it works um, because of the thing they took the GPS. Before with a regular fertilizer spreader that runs off the tire, off of a, off the tire you can't slow it down enough, but converting everything over to a GPS I can slow us down there. 